Well, we are struggling again today. I have filmed the intro a bunch of times and nothing is just, nothing is um, falling into place. So, it's a haul video. Watch it. <laughs> was quite the intro but you know it is what it is oh <laughs> that's the wrong arm it is what it is you know it's just we're keeping it real over here i went to a mile long yard sale yesterday in Tallapoosa, georgia and it was a really fun time i'd never been before it was one literal mile um and there was like side streets that you could go off of and there's yard sales down there um it was a really good time i got a lot of fun things and i wanted to share them with you guys so um before i get into the mile long yard sale haul on thursday i did go to an estate sale in cartersville cartersville georgia and i got some things there i didn't get a lot of things um, I did spend a lot of money, but I didn't get a lot of things, but I wanted to show you guys those things first. So from the estate sale, the first thing I got was this very fun Art Deco reverse painted glass frame with this very dapper gentleman inside of it. Now, um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to tell you guys what I paid for each piece because a lot of the things weren't priced and they didn't, again, a bulk deal. But I will tell you that I paid $90 for everything you're going to see and one item was $50, so the rest is $40. I'm not, you, I'll show you guys the $50 item. But So I did grab this guy. Very good condition. There is some minor... I wouldn't say paint loss. I would say this happened when they were reverse painting the frame because you can see the brush strokes. So there's that. And also, um, just so you guys know, the majority of these items will be available on my eBay. My eBay, uh, my eBay will be linked in the description box below. If um, I also do have three antique booths, so if any of these items are going into my booth instead of my, into one of my three booths instead of my eBay, I will let you guys know. But the majority of the items will be available on my eBay. So here's this guy. Then, these are odd, but I picked them up because I like them, but every time I put them in my booth, they sell. So I did grab these, and these will be going into my one of my three antique booths and it is these really big old paint brushes <laughs> I just think these make such a fun little riser like um, in a display like you kind of just stack them like that maybe you put a flower frog I'll show you guys an example Woo. so you would put like this and then put this on top of it with whatever piece of ephemera you would want and it just adds some layers and they're just really fun so I I always as long as they're affordable I always pick these up when I see them and usually um, at estate sales the people running the sales they don't charge you very much for these because they're just old paintbrushes but so these are going to go into my booth those are very fun Then I got these two Santa mugs. This one is a tiny one. It's made in Japan. I do think these are going to go um, into one of my booths because I don't think that they necessarily have enough standalone power to put on my eBay. Now these can sell on eBay, um, especially if you do like a vintage Christmas lot. Those do really good, but I think I'm just gonna slap a bottle brush tree in here and stick this in my booth, made in Japan. Now this guy, <laughs> He cracks me up. Um, he is a hobbyist piece. He was made in 1966. But just wait until you see his face. Look at this guy. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Is he not just the best? He cracks me up. So same thing with this guy. I'm going to stick a bottle brush tree in his head. And he will be for sale in my one of my booths. 
Then I did pick up a stack of these old hankies. Um, I do know that these were 50 cents a piece. So there's all different ones. And what I have planned for these is I just did a drop sale on my channel and it's still up. If you guys are interested, just go to my last, go to my channel and go, well, you're on my channel. Duh, sorry. Go to my last video and my drop sale is still up. So you can shop live. Well, not live. It's a day. It is such a day. I'm sorry. Rewind. You can shop the items in my video. So if you're interested in that, go take a look. But um, I did do these miniature grab bags and they seemed like they did really well and people were interested. So I'm going to do another drop sale probably this week and it's going to be only dollhouse and dollhouse miniatures and just mini miniatures in general. And um, in the baggies, I'm going to use these as like the backdrop for the baggies. So in every miniature baggie, you're also going to get a vintage hanky. So I did grab these for that purpose. Let's see, this one looks pretty. What is this? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this one. I love that. That is beautiful. I may have to sell this one separate because look how fun. Could you imagine that framed? So pretty. I really like that one. Hmm. All right. So that's what I have planned for these. Then I grabbed for $3, I remember that price, is this Mexican silver mother, or no, it's not mother pearl, it's uh, abalone shell, and enamel little cuff bracelet. It is marked Mexican silver on the back. It's little, but it's so pretty. So this will be available on my eBay. Then in the jewelry, I also grabbed this vintage rhinestone necklace. Now these rhinestones are so beautiful. Like the way they sparkle is just absolutely stunning. I love this necklace. Now I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or not. I'm leaning towards keep because just the way that sparkles, my goodness, I love this. I'm gonna try it on, obviously. Like, look at that, it is so pretty. The way it catches the light. <laughs> I love this piece, but um, I have a lot of things, so it may be available on my eBay, just keep an eye out. But look at that, stunning piece. I didn't see any maker's marks on it, but so, 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 so pretty. And it's not missing a single rhinestone beautiful then I got this Joseph original girl she is December she is so cute I don't see any issues with her usually their little arms are broken broken off and glued back on but she is in beautiful condition she has her original sticker original sticker on the bottom and the Joseph original marking there so I grabbed her. Now this is the $50 item and I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it, but I had to get it because um, I'm a sucker, but it is this Victorian photo album. It is in not the best shape. The cover is detachable. It's not supposed to be, but it is. But it did have the old pictures in it. This one is not a tin type but i'll show you so here's another one this one right here is a tin type but let me show you guys what what really put me over the edge to where i had to get it it is this picture of this little baby and then next to it was this littlest lock of hair now i know you guys a lot of you guys are grossed out by hair and i totally understand it but for me especially being a mom, um, and I know you other moms can probably relate, is that this was somebody's world. Like, my daughter is my absolute life. Like, that's, she's my everything. And so this baby was somebody's everything. And then here is a little lock of her hair tied up with this little blue string. And this just ended up in an estate sale 
with a monetary value attached to it. And, you know, I just picture, you know, if that were my daughter and this was her little lock of hair, like, I don't know, I just couldn't leave it behind. But to me, that is just so sweet. So, and then there's more pictures. Here's this, that might be her when she's a little older. But it does have more pictures, but that little lock of hair just really sealed the deal to where I just could not leave this behind. So I did pay up for it. It was $50. Um, it probably wasn't the smartest purchase, but again, I sometimes I buy with my emotions, which isn't very good when you're a reseller, but, and then look at this one. These are actually much harder to find, these little teeny tiny tin types. There's a name for them. I cannot remember at the moment, but so cute. So I did grab this for the $50, but that's okay. So I love that. Again, don't know if this is going to be for sale or for my own personal collection. So to be determined. And then my second favorite thing I got, second favorite things I got from that estate sale is these vintage bug, I don't know if they're salts or little sugar in little individual sugar dishes. They would have had a spoon that came out, but it's little back comes off. I don't see any chips or cracks on these, but look how sweet these are. Now I haven't looked. Ooh! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh goodness, that scared me. Um, I haven't looked anything up yet, so I'm not sure their monetary value, but here's this one in the pink. And then there was also one in the blue and yellow. So these are so cute. They're little yaggies. Again, there's the spot for the spoon. Oh, I can't believe I almost dropped that one. This one does have its original Made in Japan sticker. These are so cute. So these will be available on my eBay. Now that was it for the estate sale. Now, moving on to the mile long yard sale. The very first thing I picked up was this and I was so excited. Um, I got this jewelry box, this vintage jewelry box. First of all, this is just a beautiful jewelry box. But if you open it, there's the mirror. And I love that patina to this mirror. And then, but when you open it, it is full. And then this part here, I don't know that I can open it for you guys. Let me see. Aha! It is slap full of jewelry. No, I haven't gone through it. I didn't even look through it um, while I was there. I actually just asked the sellers. I said, how much for it full? Like not picking out any jewelry, just how much is it full of jewelry? And they're like, I don't know. What do you want to pay for it? And I was like, you know, I'm so awkward at that. I never know what to say. Um, I said, and I said that, I said, I'm so awkward at that. Um, why don't you just say a price and then I'll tell you if like, you know, I'm willing to pay that or not because I just, I just don't know. And they looked at each other and they said, how about $5? And I was like, trying to keep it cool. You know, I was like, five, yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's reasonable. $5. Sure. Well, uh, yeah, I can, I can swing that. <laughs> so I got this whole thing, um, full of this jewelry for $5. And actually, as I'm just like peeking through here, I did just find this like just right on top. And it is marked. Um, nine two five. So it is a sterling silver and blue rhinestone bracelet and it's got a really nice clasp on it. So, and that was just sitting right on top. So I'm sure that that was a very, very good buy. And I, I mean, even the jewelry box is worth $5. That is a very cool jewelry box. All right, then what's next? I did grab these two wooden Kokeshi dolls. This one is very cool because it's made out of, 
I mean, they're both made out of wood, but this one is made specifically just from like a branch. So there's that one. And there was this one. And I paid a dollar each for these. So I think that is a very good deal. And these will be available for sale on my eBay. Also, my hands and arms, as you can see, and I'm sure you have seen, are beat to heck because um, at the at an estate sale I went to this weekend, I rescued a plant. It was in this greenhouse and it was so beautiful and they said everything was for sale and I said, even that plant? And they said, yeah, if you dig it up, you may have it. So it was covered in thorns and vines, but I just had to save it and I did get pretty beat up, but it was totally worth it. I'm gonna insert a picture here so that you can see my beautiful new plant and it's an aloe plant and I'm sure it's at least 20 years old. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. So if you see my hands, that is what happened. Anyways, I digress. Next thing was this little brass bathtub. I paid 50 cents for it, but it was too cute to leave behind. I think I'm going to clean it up and use it as a soap dish. So I don't think this will be for sale. So check mark for me, add to my tally, but it is too cute. So I did grab that. Then I grabbed this guy. Um, again, I haven't looked anything up yet. It is a Madame Alexander. <laughs> rise, rise, little baby, rise. But um, I don't know, I really liked his mustache. So he was only $2, so I did grab him. Surely he's worth more than $2, but he was too cute. So I did grab him. Then this little lady, I had to rescue her. She is this cutie patootie with her little lacy skirt and her two poodle pals on chains. Now, as you guys can see, she has been into a accident. Um, because of that accident, I got her for 50 cents. And what I think I'm going to do is probably, um, I don't know if she'll be on my eBay because it it's very difficult to ship them. But what I do when I find little pieces like this um, that, you know, have, have been in an accident is I will glue a real dried butterfly, like right here, just a small real butterfly like she's holding this butterfly. And then usually I put a glass cloche on top and I sell these in my booth and just give them a second chance at life. So that is probably what I'm going to do with her. Um, I will try to get that done before I post this video so that I can insert a picture for you guys, kind of what I'm talking about. So that is what I have planned for this beautiful girl. Um, I think honestly, the majority of the rest of the items are glass and breakables. So mm, I'll start with this one. She is dirty. I literally dug this out of like this really sketchy box. It was right at the bottom. I couldn't believe that it wasn't broken or chipped up, but it is not. It's just dirty. Um, it is signed. It just says TA95 on the bottom, but it is hand blown. I love those colors and that swirl. So that was a really fun piece. I don't remember what I paid for this. It was all, it all was kind of a blur of a day, but so I picked that up. That will be available on my eBay. I'm not sure how I'm going to list it because I'm not a glass expert. So if it's not up, by the time this video posts will y'all let me know in the comments how would you list this so that i do an accurate job how what would you say about this piece so let me know um other than the bathtub this is the only thing the only other thing i grabbed for myself it is this 
iron stone plate. And I just fell in love. I'm a sucker for heavy crazing. When something has heavy crazing like that, I just, I instantly fall in love with it. And it's got these really fun metallic painted flowers around the edges. And then here's the back. And you see that beautiful crazing. Again, I know a lot of people don't like crazing on pieces, but for me, it just adds to the history of a piece. But this is for myself. I love this piece so much. And this was a dollar, so not bad. I spent a dollar fifty on myself. That is very reasonable. Next up, I did grab this art glass puppet dog. Schnauzer is what he appears to be to me. He is dirty. I don't believe him to be Murano. Um, he is pretty chippied up on the bottom. He will be on my eBay, so I will be sure to include all of those little chips and flea bites in the, um, in the description. As far as other breaks and chips, the only issue I see is this one bigger chippy chunk right there. It's not, it's still flush it's under the surface but I will be sure to include that but he is he was too cute to leave behind none of his facial features or his ears are chipped or cracked so I think that was the most important part he does have some chips now that I'm looking right here too so I don't know what he'll do but he was a dollar so I had to pick him up he is very cute very heavy so there was that guy. Then I did pick up, I have a couple of these in my personal collection. It is this Lithopane tea light holder or fairy light. This particular one has these beautiful, they appear to be magnolias on it. And um, this brand is the one that makes it. I'm not gonna try to say that because I will just embarrass myself. But these are really pretty. I'm, let me see if I can um, illuminate it for you guys so that you can see the coolest thing about these pieces. So like to your naked eye, it just appears to be this white dome. You can see that there's some kind of imagery on it, but it's not very pronounced. But then when you turn down the lights and you illuminate it, it becomes this three-dimensional, just stunning piece of art. Like, look at that. And when the light flickers, like your candle flickers, it looks even more beautiful. These are so fun. I am obsessed with these. Like I said, I have a couple of them in my own collection. But this one will be for sale on my eBay. But look at that. Is that not just so stunning? How it just becomes three-dimensional like that. I love this piece. So, if you are interested in it, it will be available on my eBay. All right, moving right along. I did also pick up this piece of black Wedgwood. Now, I come across Wedgwood quite frequently. I don't see the black that often. I'm not saying that the black is rare. I'm just saying I don't see it that often. And it has this beautiful ivy design on it now again I came straight home I haven't cleaned these things I haven't researched them so it is quite dirty because this was like a dig box situation but other than the dirt I think it will clean up beautifully because I don't see any issues with it just dirt so I did grab this piece and I will clean that up before I list it don't you worry um and then the things that are left are my favoriteest things that I got from the weekend. Um, I grabbed this again, and I'm sorry I say again a lot. I realized I do that, but um, I don't know who makes this. I haven't researched it, but look at this iridescent marigold carnival banana bowl. Is this not, have y'all ever seen one like this? And this diamond point? Let me know, How, do you guys know who makes this? I don't know who makes it, but I had to grab it. It is an 
amazing condition. What is, don't be, oh, that scared me. I thought that was a chip, but it's not, it's a piece of tape. <laughs> but it is an amazing condition. It is so big. But that coloring, that iridescence is insane. It kind of has that purple oil slick hue to it. So I love this. Y'all let me know if you know who makes it. Help a girl out because I just don't know. Um, I can research it, but you guys let me know if you know. So fun. Love that. Then I grabbed this guy. I did pay up for him a little bit, but I just thought he was too cool to leave behind. It is this needle point. It is behind glass framed. It says, God bless America. I believe that to be the Liberty Bell. And then it's got this bald eagle, bald eagle holding the American flag. And the details are so detailed. It's just very well done there is some discoloration right here but as you can see the the what it was stitched on does look older to me I don't know the year it's not dated here's the back and then in the corner you can see there's these really fun star um, details let's see if I can show you one so all around the backing there's these little stars but I really like this piece. He will probably be on auction format on my eBay since I don't know enough about him to do a accurate buy it now price. So I did pay $10 for him, um, which isn't bad, but it was, you know, it was paying up a little bit for it, but I still really, really like it. Beautiful piece. Okay, now, well, after this, we're on to the really, really good stuff. But this is really good. But I got this Murano perfume bottle. It does still have its original Murano sticker. It's by BBR, BBRI Murano. It is in beautiful condition. Look at that bottom. Like, how that swirl is just perfectly centered. So well done. And then... The stopper is this beautiful gold flaked flower. And the way this, like whoever made this was a true, true artisan because this stopper, even though it's glass, it literally just screws in so tightly to this bottle. Like they were made for each other. It is such a stunning piece. And those swirls like it's crazy to think that that's even glass, how even those swirls are. So, so stunning, so beautiful. So this will be available on my eBay as well. All right, now we're on to the really good stuff. So I picked this guy up. Look at this face, get out of here. And the swirls, they're three-dimensional, so you can feel them. They stand out. There is mm, no chips around the top. I do think, again, not a glass expert, but I do think that this is older. And the person I bought it from, she actually told me it was antique. Now, I don't know her. I don't know her credibility, but um, she was pretty certain of it. I haven't looked it up, but it is so beautiful. And again, just like that perfume bottle, the attention to detail, how these are just so symmetrical on the bottom and how they just work up and then they twist all the way up to the top. And this is big, um, let's see. 18 inches and it isn't too terribly thick but it isn't very thin either it's like a perfect medium and you can see how it's got this rim around it so beautiful i freaked out when i saw this and you know i didn't put this in a bag and it's a mile long yard sale so you're walking so i was shopping and holding this and i got a ton of compliments on this face they were like where'd you get that that's amazing 
was like, I know. But love that. So that will be available on my eBay. I will have to do some research. Um, it probably will be listed auction format just so that um, everybody can get a chance on it. Love this thing. All right. Are y'all sitting down? Let me know when you're sitting down. I'll give you a minute. Sitting down? Okay. So after the yard sale, um, I went to the West Georgia flea market um, because it was like 10 minutes down the road. Um, and I am so glad I went because boy, did I score on these three pieces. And I was walking around. They had a lot of new stuff at the flea market um, and I didn't see anything. I had empty hands the whole time. And then pretty much right when I was leaving, I was going through the exit and I saw these just sitting there, like so regal just sitting there and they were amongst just a bunch of random new stuff there was nothing around them that that made sense to be with where these were so I was like really nonchalant I went over there I was looking at them um I was picking them up looking at them and let me let me just show you guys before I continue so here's the first one Look at this Empoli decanter. Holy Empoli. This one is this beautiful smoked out brown gray decanter. Now this one isn't one of the more rare colors. This one is a more common non-desirable color, but y'all know I love browns and neutrals and creams. So this one is my favorite. And it can go into any display. Um, but oh my goodness, I freaked out when I saw these. And this one right here, it's 25 inches. So she's tall. And I did put some tape because um, I don't know if these originally would have had like a plastic seal on the bottom stopper part, but these do not. So this one, it is a yield wobbly when it's in there. So just to be safe, I put some tape around it just because I do have a four year old. And if she bumped these and this stopper fell off and broke, I may have to put her up for adoption. And I really like her, so I don't want to do that. So I did tape them just to be safe. But look at that top, that stopper. There is not a chip, a scratch, a nick, a crack, nothing on this. So beautiful. And y'all want to know? what I paid for it because it's insane. I paid $10 a piece for these and I got three. Yeah, I know. I'm still a little shooketh from, from the experience, but look at this. Okay, so that's the first one. Then this one, I hadn't seen, I don't think I've seen this one. So I'm thinking this one is rarer and more difficult to find because normally you see them in that style, the bottom and it goes up and gets skinnier and then has the pointier top. I did look this one up and I did not see one that this that was square like this. And this is thick, like very, very well made. And look at that square stopper. Now this one I didn't have to tape because this stopper like there's not even a chip or flea bite on that, which is just insane, but it just fits so perfectly right in there. Doesn't really move at all. Oh my goodness. Look at this stunner for Christmas. Oh my goodness. And there's no water line inside. No issues with it whatsoever so beautiful still freaking out so if you guys know what this one is called what this style is called please let me know in the comments look at that green holy macaroni so there's that one amazing and i paid ten dollars for it Shh, don't tell anybody okay now for the big daddy 
da, 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 da. Look at that blue. And there's the stopper. So beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, I still can't believe it. There's the bottom. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, these will be more than likely available for sale on my eBay. The shipping, however, on these, because they are well over 16 inches, is going to be a doozy. So, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, but I am pretty confident in my shipping abilities. Um, I know I'm new to YouTube um, and new to most of you, but I am not new to eBay. I've been on eBay for several years, um, and if you guys do go to my eBay, read my reviews. Um, I always encourage people to read eBay sellers' reviews because, I mean, they're not going to lie. There's no reason for them to lie in the review section. Of course, the negative ones, they're always lying. No, I'm just kidding, but um, go read my reviews, and you'll see that I do pay much close attention to how I package and ship my items, but I'm not gonna lie, this would be one for the books. I have not done one quite like this. I did do the red swung vases. I haven't gotten a review back from that buyer. I hope they made it safe. They didn't say they didn't. It, they were delivered a couple weeks ago, so. But this one is in a whole new ball game. But I'm pretty confident that I can do it. Um, it's just going to take a lot of prayer and a lot of careful attention to detail. But oh my goodness, these are amazing. Love them. All the things. They are so beautiful. So glad I went. And I, that's it, guys. I've talked a really long time. And if you're still here, kudos to you because I was rambling. Thank you guys for watching my haul video. Keep an eye out on my eBay for all of these amazing finds. And thanks again for joining me at the Withering Cottage. Bye, guys.